also a rock star. She she um, has been a member and, and part of Recycling Black Dollars for a very long time and since Muhammad um, uh, founded the organization and Norma has been in our community for over 30 years just doing the things that she do does. And, and she's all about authenticity and being... Um, uh, in how you speak and how you deliver your message and your business services to to your customers. Uh, Nola, no, Norma teaches self-awareness by helping you know yourself on a deeper, authentic level. She takes you on a journey inside of yourself to find, live, and share your authentic voice, the essence of who you are. After studying human nature from personal, professional, and spiritual perspectives over the last 30 years, Norma has created a system that introduces you to the nine dimensions of authenticity and helps you uncover minor tweaks that you can make it massively imp- can massively impact your future. She's the former owner of speaker of a speakers bureau, author of several books including Ten Steps to Authenticity, The Process to Becoming to Become a Professional Speaker, and the Authentic Healthcare Leadership, a practical handbook which will be released in 2018. So she's an author, she's a consultant, she's a trainer. She's a speaker. She's a coach. She's a mentor. <laughs> and she's a mother. <laughs> and <laughs> yes. And so she is here to speak on your authentic voice and what we um, and we are so pleased to have you here. Well, Crystal, it's a delight to be here with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Welcome you. Welcome to Gilbert. the business. Yes. Zone. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> now you've been out here doing your thing for a very long time. I've been doing my thing for a long time. Yeah. Yes, I have been. Yes, so I have. tell us about it more than what's on that piece of paper because you're such a lively person. <laughs> <laughs> and every time I see Norma, no matter what event I go to, she's in her orange. So it's such a bright, oh, wow. vibrant color. That's, for her. that's our branding. <laughs> that's our branding. Brand it is my branding, and it works. I get clients because I wear orange sometimes. Oh, it's yes. just amazing how that happens. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, you, when you first walk in, and I, and I, you know, my thing when I do the networking thing, I come yeah. in and I go, Who do I know? Who's in the oh, room? Norma's <laughs> <here."> <laughs> you gotta know who's in the room. <laughs> I can be in the airport in other cities and people will come to me. You're the lady in orange that does speak. The authenticity lady. <laughs> yeah, so that helps. You got to have your brand, right? That's yes, right. indeed. Yes, indeed. So tell yes, us right. more. What, how, because I don't know if I've ever heard the story. Yes, I did hear the story of how you became a speaker or uh, it got into this uh, um, uh, industry. Yeah. Well, you know, there's multiple sides to me, of course. So right. The speaking is what I did. The authenticity kind of is who I am. And okay. that's the foundation of everything that I did. The authenticity part started when I was 28 and realized I was miserable after doing everything my parents had said do. Ah. You know, parents got us in a certain way and we believe them because what else do we know, right? Mm-hmm. So I had the husband and the car and the house and the job and all the <laughs> wonderful things that they say are good and uh-huh. I was miserable. Yeah. And I didn't know what to do next because yeah. I didn't know who I was because right. I was being who my parents said I mm-hmm. should be. Okay. And they were very traditional and there's not much traditional about me. So mm-hmm. they didn't understand. <laughs> still don't, you know? so, <laughs> so I went on a quest to understand who I am. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's how I came to authenticity. It really took me on a 30-year journey of going deep into myself and understanding myself from nine the different energies. I could feel the energies in me. You know, we all have different energies oh, within yeah. us. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we're quiet, sometimes we're lively. Mm-hmm. And they kind of work together Frequently, hopefully they work together. Right, exactly. So I was able to separate them and put them on a grid to understand them. Mm -hmm. And then what I did was I attached the name of an animal to each different energy. So I kind of knew who I was. And I I hooked it, hooked a rug and put it on my wall. Like, okay, who am I this morning? You know, who am I today? I have a friend friend sometimes that always asks me, so who are you today? (laughs) (laughs) And I think we all have those multiple personalities or multiple sides of ourselves, you know, that we show. And then after having my bureau for multiple years and I was writing about all this authenticity I went around the country to 20 cities in 18 months and delivered this program I had now developed on these nine dimensions of authenticity and found that everybody I was meeting had the same nine dimensions Ooh. and they recognized themselves and they were just lapping up the information about self-understanding and self-knowledge and that just started me on a movement if you will of authenticity and helping people become more authentic. So okay. what are the nine dimensions of authenticity? I thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> well let me break it down to first the three voices that we all have. Yeah. So okay. we all have three voices. Mm-hmm. First is our inner voice, which of course
course, is the spiritual voice that mm-hmm. speaks within that no one hears but us. Mm-hmm. Okay. And sometimes we don't even acknowledge that it exists, but mm-hmm. we all have that voice. Okay. And then the second voice is the outer voice. That's who we are perceived to be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when you walk into a room, everyone makes an assessment of who you are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you walk in and see me in orange. So right. you make an assessment maybe of my mood or how right. I'm doing today. Right. Uh-huh. You have no idea what's going on inside. Mm-hmm. Right. But, exactly. And that's with everybody. We right. make an assessment immediately. That's our outer voice. Right. And then our expressive voice is who we have become. Mm. So how we put together our education, our background, our learning, our inner and outer voice, Mm -hmm. and what we're doing with it. And so each of those voices have three dimensions, which Mm. has become the nine dimensions. Mm. So going back to the inner voice, Mm -hmm. the inner voice is, again, the voice no one hears but us, and there's three dimensions there. Mm -hmm. First, it's our intuition. Mm. So how we listen to the voice. And I love being in environments where I ask people, well, who's intuitive in the room? And a few raise their hand. And I say, well, I know you're all intuitive. And I know that because each of you came today with clothes on. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That's right. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Because at some point you asked yourself, what am I going to wear today? Right, exactly. And you didn't say it out loud. You said it generally. Well, some people always say it out loud. They always say. But but generally you say it inside and Mm -hmm. you get an answer. Mm -hmm. Right. And same thing when you say, I'm hungry, what am I going to eat? Yeah. So I have clients look at how the answer comes to them. Mm -hmm. Does it come as a thought, as a feeling, as a a memory, as something in your gut? And that's a clue to how your voice speaks. And then next is integrity. Uh And integrity is your value system and what you believe in and how much you believe what you believe. Mm -hmm. And actually, when you think about values, the friends you have in life are people generally whose values are aligned with yours. Mm -hmm. And people you have fallen out with, spouses, Mm -hmm. relationships, whatever, it's because your values weren't together. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. So that's how important integrity is and your values are and how much you stick with them. And generally, people that are not happy in relationships, when you break it down, is because the values are not aligned. Mm-hmm. And, yes. and when you're trying to live on someone, like I tried to live on my parents' values at 28, that was yeah. it wasn't That's working. The, right, because those were her, their values. They were their values. And, and they, I had to then grow up to be older to really understand and identify right. what my true values were. Right, right. Yes. exactly. And then the third part of your inner voice is inspiration, mm-hmm. whether you are inspired to do something versus motivation. Mm. Motivation comes from the outside in. Okay. Inspiration comes from the inside out. Mm-hmm. Right. And you really can't do anything. You can't go change those books mm-hmm. until yeah. you're inspired to do it. You can motivate and browbeat and oh, all, yeah, that's but true. they have to have something to happen right. to have an inspirational movement that's going to help them to make that change. Yes, mm-hmm. exactly. And generally, the way the inner voice works is that the idea comes into your intuition. You judge it from your integrity. And if you're so inspired, you act on it. Mm-hmm. You, may, you may or may not. Okay? So that's kind of how that works. Oh, okay. You know, I really like that concept. Is that a concept that you developed yourself? Yes, it is. Yes, That it is. is phenomenal. Because yeah. I'm thinking about it. It is so easy and so simple that we may think about it, but not in that way. Right. Right. Because, you know, you think about the three aspects and then you go to one and you, you come, you, you have a three dimension. Right. That is <laughs> Break just it down. A, yeah. That's amazing. And, and you tie that together. Oh, yeah. And then, then now you better understand yourself. Yes. Right. You better understand how you interact with the oh, world yeah. and how you interact with your clients. And, and you become so, more authentic. And you become more authentic. <laughs> there you go. I'm feeling right. pretty authentic. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now that you don't understand I the know. dimensions, this, right? This this is amazing. Now let's hear the other dimension. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll go to the outer voice. Okay. Yes. And the outer voice, again, is how you're perceived by others when you walk in a room. Mm-hmm. And the first dimension of your outer voice is net wellness, mm-hmm. your health. So you walk in a room, people get an immediate impression. Are you healthy? Are you not? Are you vibrant? Are you not? Are you overweight? Are you What color are you? I mean, all right. these things are a, relation, are a piece of your net wellness. Mm-hmm. And each of these in outer voice have the word net in front of it because it's the sum total of mm-hmm. all those things. Oh, okay. Right? Okay. And then the next one is network. Mm-hmm. And network is actually the middle of this grid. And so everything in life relates to other people. Mm -hmm. And network has to do with your network. And we talk about your quality and quantity relationships. Mm -hmm. Quality meaning people who know you well, get along well, will be honest with you. You, They they even know how you smell and you're okay with them. Right, right? exactly. But the and then the quantity are those who you may not know so well, but they you need quantity. Like you and I are quantity relationships. We're not quality yet. We very well may be down the road. Right. But because of that, I'm able to be here. Right, exactly. And because of that, we're able to talk about things. And as I get to meet you, you guys become quantity relationships. Mm -hmm. I may see you again. We may do business. We may just say hi, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. But we need both in life because you you need the quality so you can 
can stay authentic, people who will be honest with you. Mm -hmm. And you need a quantity so you can grow. Right. Oh, right. okay. You know who right. to grow with. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. And then there's the net wealth. Mm -hmm. And of course, when you hear net wealth, people think money. Yeah. But when I talk, when we talk about net wealth with authenticity, it's about abundance. What mm -hmm. really brings you joy in life? Right. Oh, wow. Because people can have money and be miserable. Oh, mm -hmm. there are a lot I of folks so. out yeah. there that are absolutely yeah. miserable. And people can be broke and be just as joyful that as possible. Uh -huh. Exactly. Right. My yeah. mom is. <laughs> <laughs> she is. <laughs> She's the happiest person I know. She's, because she's for them, monetary is not what brings them exactly. joy. It's what their it's, their families, their friends, their those, life, their um, you know. Exactly. That's the abundance. That's the abundance. And when you think about the three components, the three dimensions of outer voice, those are the three dimensions that the world says are important. Mm -hmm. How your, your health is the people you're around, mm -hmm. and the wealth that you do or do not have. Mm -hmm. When I started in the speaking industry, people told me, well, Norma, if you don't talk about wealth or money, I mean money, wealth, money, net people or relationships or uh, health, you're not going to make any money. <laughs> but there's so much more to who we are. Oh, yeah. Right. And it's not just those three. But those right. are the three that society seems to focus on and say what's important. Mm -hmm. right. And that's clearly what you perceive, but it has nothing to do with who you are. It's the least to do with really who you are. Yeah. Right. Okay? Yeah, because you, they, you know, that... You, Integrity doesn't necessarily always come with the fact that you have money. That's right. That's and be, for sure. Right. It, it, we see that off. right now, right? <laughs> and and also, um, your being authentic doesn't come with you having money. No, Actually, doesn't. you probably have a different facade yes. that you're showing because of that. Right. right. And it makes you very inauthentic. It makes you mm -hmm. very inauthentic. Yes. Right. yes. And people who <coughs> who inner voice and outer voice give different messages are not aligned. Mm. And we all we meet them all. We I mean, you might meet someone and say there's something not right about that. Yeah. I right. can't put exactly. my finger on it. Uh -huh. And oftentimes it's because they're saying one thing, but they're appearing to be something else. Exactly. Wow. And, it, and it comes across in the white when you begin to talk to them and see them more. Yeah. But truly, true authenticity starts with the inner voice. It's strengthened when the inner and outer voices get the same message, but it's really strong when the expressive voice also does the same thing. Oh, wow. So okay. the expressive voice, again, is who you have become in the world. Right. Mm -hmm. And so the dimensions with there begin with legacy. And I heard you mention legacy earlier. Mm -hmm. But from an authenticity perspective, legacy is the gifts you were born with. Oh, so okay. what legacy were you given at the time you came to the planet? What are okay. your gifts and talents mm -hmm. and how are you using them? Okay. Do you know what they are? Do you use them? Do you? I, what I say to people is that if you are working in a job or have a business that allows your legacy, your gifts and talents to flourish, man, you're happy. You're a very fortunate person. Because mm -hmm. most yeah. people select based on what money they think they're going to make. Right, exactly. But whether a job or a business, rather than what am I really good at? What do I love to do? And what do I really want to do? Mm -hmm. And if you're not doing those things in a business, then hopefully you're doing them in some kind of creative activity or recreational activity after work. Because mm -hmm. right. if you're just ignoring that, then chances are you're stressed, you're not happy, you're moving towards cancer and other issues are, that are going Going to not be healthy for you. Mm -hmm. So it's really important to know your gifts and talents and live within them. Yeah, I think that's, um, you know, I do what I do. He does what he does and we enjoy what we're mm -hmm. doing. So it's not like work. And, right. I, and I get that feeling from you right. as well. You're yeah. enjoying what you do. And I've always got that feeling from you <laughs> that you are definitely in in p at peace with who you are and what you do. But I know I absolutely this is what God put me on this planet right. to do. Right. And and we just keep adding to it. Even when we did the start of the show, it's like, oh, whoa, I kind of <laughs> like this. This is my person. But, you know, things like that show through your essence, through your outer voice, because just looking at you and your skin, your glow, you know, all those things that are a part of you, it makes it it shines because when you're truly in your authentic self, you know, you can't there's no denying it. You are mm -hmm. who you are and people know and they gravitate. Right. Right. So. So, yes. So thank you for oh. saying that, too. Thank so um, the system that you developed to help people get. Let there, me finish the last two. OK. I'm okay? sorry. OK. Just so we don't forget. Uh -huh. Some people might be listening. And okay. wonder, What's the other two? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. There you go. <laughs> so the next one with uh, with the expressive voice is likability, which is your personality. Okay. And recognizing that we all have different ways to say the same thing. So I might have a message to say, and I may say it one way to Cosette, uh, and another way to you, Gil, but another way to you. Right. Uh -huh. Because you're a man, because right. you're money, and because you're a friend. So right. I might have a different angle. Right. And I might say it different to a lover, to a child, to a parent. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. So, we can, so recognizing that, you always want to find the best part of yourself and allow that to shine. Mm -hmm. Because mm. people attract, you can, that's a law of attraction working. Yeah. Right, you exactly. want to attract to you those things that bring out the best side of you. Mm -hmm. And they even say about money that money comes to you more when you're showing your best 
best personality. Oh, right. for sure. You know? So that's just all aligned with that. Mm-hmm. And then the final one is lifestyle, which is your day-to-day habits oh, okay. and what you do day-to-day. And how, like, how you drive home, your attitude, whether you push the snooze button in the morning, just yeah. these things. Yeah. And you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're okay out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these things are all representative of how we live our life and how authentic we're being. Mm-hmm. And what I share with people is that once you understand the nine dimensions, I have an assessment that goes with that that mm-hmm. people can take online, which I'll give you the address later. Mm-hmm. But then when you find where your lowest areas are, your lowest dimension, your most challenging dimension, mm-hmm. We, what we suggest is just tweak one thing in one dimension. Okay. So don't try to change your whole self. You know, no matter what it is you may want to modify about yourself, just find one thing to tweak, and that's going to enable you to make massive change. Because one small thing can make major change. Oh, yes. And that can make sure. a change in your attitude and how you do and your success and your finances and your business and your personal life, whatever. Mm-hmm. So just find that one thing. Don't be overwhelmed with, oh, this is not right, that's not right. right. And then when people take my assessment, they find that their scores may change mm-hmm. from day to day, even mm-hmm. from hour to hour. Yeah. Oh, right? yeah. Because yeah. our view of ourselves changes right. based on what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, exactly. Because there are a lot of people that are not living as they're often. I mean, right. we, you see it every day. You interact with people within your own family. Right. So what is this system that you have developed? I call it the Authentic Voice System. Okay. And it is based on the those nine dimensions of authenticity. Okay. The assessment can be found at authenticityassessment.com. Okay. But because people can't usually speak, uh, spell, or even say authenticity. <laughs> <laughs> so true. <laughs> <laughs> Me included sometimes. <laughs> I guide them to uh, be real test.com. Oh, be That's real B-E- test. B E R E A L T E S T.com. Okay. And it's a complimentary assessment. And when they finish the assessment, by next week we're putting up some new things. It'll take them to making the decision in terms of how I use authenticity. So they can apply it to either personal development, Uh which has a lot to do with leadership, which is how I use it and speak about, Mm -hmm. or they can apply it to being a professional speaker, an authentic speaker, Mm -hmm. or to raising authentic children, which goes back to my first career. Mm -hmm. So those are the three areas that we've broken out to online programs that will allow them to take authenticity and go to the next level with it. Okay. And that, so, you know, we're all the money people, but you're really the the core because I think some of the change that, I not think, I I know the change that has to take place in within our community mm-hmm. has to be that mindset. Yes, yes. We, we have to break those chains mm-hmm. and recognize who we really, really are mm-hmm. and be proud of who and we be are. proud of it. Yeah. And I'm doing a lot of work now with authentic leadership. Okay. So I'm talking to organizations, giving them the assessment and doing the interpretation so they know how to assess themselves and their teams. Right. Okay. Because when you look, the leadership part is very critical. There's a lot of research by the Harvard people uh-huh. that talk about the primary, that the transformation is needed in, in corporate America. Okay. And transformation comes from authentic leadership. And the first clue to authentic leadership is self-awareness. Mm. So that's what I break down to them and help them look at the change from the industrial age to the current mm-hmm. age in terms of how we're doing business and mm-hmm. leadership and the different styles that are needed and what the millennials are needing. Mm. And all of that has to do with authenticity and helping them understand that. Oh, okay. And with our millennials, wow. Oh, yeah. Cause they They're on a whole different kind of wavelength. Yeah. Than well, the- when you think about millennials, you know, they were born... I, I, when they were born, computers were already here. Right, exactly. And those of us who are older are still impacted by the industrial age. Mm-hmm. The industrial age leadership was very much a hierarchical leadership down, management down style. Mm-hmm. And it was all about not so much who you are as a person, mm-hmm. but how fast can you do this job. Right. right. And can you do it faster so we can make more money. Right, okay? exactly. Yeah. And now we're in the information age, which is all about critical thinking. Mm-hmm. So how can you go find the answer right. and apply the answer? Right. That's right. what's important now. And where we're going and where millennials really are now is all about your gifts and talents. Yeah. How can I bring who I am to the workplace? Mm-hmm. Industrial, they didn't care who you were. No. Just how Mm-mm. fast can you screw something? Right. Yeah. Right, exactly. So a lot of leaders, a lot of organizations now are still thinking in the standpoint of how fast can you do this? Right. Versus, well, who really are you? Right. And exactly. how does that align with what we're doing? Mm-hmm. And how can I put you in a place in this organization mm-hmm. where your natural gifts and talents, where you're going to be happy yeah. and yes. we're going to be happy? Yeah. Uh-huh. Because you when know, a happy employee is, is, is a family who's going to be there. Their loyalty, they're going to stay. Right, exactly. And they're going to be more productive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's a whole change in, in how the whole environment is going. And, and that's what I help people to see and make the transition to. Okay. And actually, the assessment will also help because there are so many different generations within the organization these days from the millennials all the way over here so it's going right. to help 
how do you talk? How do you handle? How do you, you know, a lot of how tos. Right. Situationals. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And the millennials, too, they, they're also, if you know about Maslow's theory, mm-hmm. which talks about what we was a pyramid mm-hmm. and they talk about what we want first is shelter mm-hmm. and, and, and security mm-hmm. and the pyramid goes to the top where it says self-actualization mm-hmm. right well the millennials have flipped that mm-hmm. they want self-actualization first, first. Right. yes and mm-hmm. they, they feel the security is going to come they're yeah. not even worried about that but mm-hmm. they want to do and be and use their gifts and talents to make a difference in the world yeah. mm-hmm. and they are and they like the different projects they're, they don't stay 30 years anywhere no mm-hmm. they go they mm-hmm. may have 30 projects they're working on <laughs> Very exactly. different employers, right? Uh-huh. So once once the industrial age, old time thinking transitions to understand these younger people, project oriented self actualization, that's when we'll make have really have corporations that are really making a difference and impacting the world. Wow, that's yeah, cool. and that's kind of what we're doing when we're teaching. I do a, a, a summer camp, a biz camp, where I teach children how to become entrepreneurs, and weaving that's incorporated in the curriculum is you know. Being happy and being passionate about the businesses that we're developing and, and, and creating and that it represents your personality, but at the same time can be socially um, can create an impact to help your 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 fellow community and your fellow people right. at the same time. Right. Yeah. And I really emphasize, too, with businesses. You know, there's so much emphasis on the different uh, programs that develop businesses. And there's so much emphasis on the numbers, which of course are important, Mm -hmm. and all the other aspects that are part of certification, et cetera. But in reality, no business succeeds if the leader doesn't have his act together. If the leader, right. you're so right. true. And right. they don't do much training on that. No, right. right. And, that's and that's really very where important. the need is. Right. Because mm-hmm. if that mindset, if the objectives, if the goals, if it's not all aligned properly, they're not going to be able to to fulfill the requirements that are needed. And if they're not, sometimes you can be a business in the wrong business. Mm-hmm. So like I, when I had my bureau, I was in the right industry, but the wrong business mm-hmm. in the industry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I'm not a marketer. I didn't understand the marketing. I'm a trainer, you mm-hmm. know, and I'm, a, I'm an innovator. Mm-hmm. And so now that I've made that transition, right industry, wrong business originally, right. it makes a big difference. So I wouldn't have known that if I hadn't, I had to learn that the hard way. Right, but exactly. But it would have been great to have learned that in the beginning. Yeah, if knowing I, who you were and right. that this is because that's kind of a nuts and bumps. The, the the marketing thing can be really a grind if you don't understand that it's a grind. And right? Exactly, and right. if you're not a grind type and person, right? You know? Exactly. If that's not your person, you're more of an artistic, <laughs> right, a right. flowy kind of person. Right, right. You know that part where you have to do that repetitive. You know, you got to get the information out there. You got to be out there talking about your business. You got to be doing this and this and this and this. It's like, oh Lord, where do I have time to be creative? <laughs> exactly, exactly. And that's what my and then that's your default, right? So you go back to your kids and so everything else then it falls falls back so you mm-hmm. have to understand who you are mm-hmm. and part of this authenticity helps people know what they're vulnerable where they're vulnerable where their gaps lie because mm-hmm. when you know where your gaps lie then you know who to hire mm-hmm. to help fill your gaps otherwise mm-hmm. you're hiring people just like yourself okay right. and you're right yeah. in the same same situation <laughs> yeah. yeah so it's a really critical part of being in business of really knowing who you are and that leadership piece because without that you're doomed almost for it not necessarily for failure but for a really hard challenge mm-hmm. and i think we did a, a work we did a, a show on um it's called e-myth uh, e myth, mm-hmm. right? Heard, yes, and there's E myth, and yes, he talks yeah. about the different types of people: the thinker, yeah. the doer, the, mm-hmm. the you know, the the, the pragmatic the person, the entrepreneurial person with the mm-hmm. spirit, and that is what makes a great company. But you got to know who you are and why you do what you do, yes, and complement each other mm-hmm. with that. Very yeah, and my partners um, are kind of like that. I have a couple of partners, and um, I have a girlfriend that's very pragmatic. She's very she's very analytical. I'm more of the marketing. Let me go out and create business and bring in the people. And she's more behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. And this is where I do my best work, right behind <laughs> the scenes. And and she pays attention to all the details, and I do too, but not you know from the accounting side, but not. Overall, right, right, <laughs> not, right, right. not like that, because <laughs> you get stuck in the yeah. details, right? And some people are very good at that, and right, that's what exactly. they should do, right? Yeah, right, that's right. exactly what they and should do. Another thing that your system is good for too: a lot of small businesses, they operate with their back against the wall, like the sky's falling, so they got to make decisions. Mm-hmm. There's no planning. We call that dr- organizational dry rot <laughs> because <laughs> because they didn't plan. You know, there are two types of planning. You got of, um, organized plan and you got forced plan. Right. Forced plan right. is when you didn't, you didn't, you didn't plan your financials. You didn't have, you, you didn't have any of that. And then now the tax, the tax man is coming, or you right. got to get a loan, and you're going, okay, your ratios are not there. 
none of those things. And then now you got to try to make it happen. But if they're using your system, they'll know, okay, th there's these actualization that you got to put in place. And if that happens, you're ready to go. You're ready to go. So that's, that's really right. good. I like that. Now, who are some of your clients that you reach out to and where do you have your workshops? Um, I haven't done any personal road workshops lately. I've been doing workshops more for organizations. Mm -hmm. I recently spoke with the Ventura County Management Council mm -hmm. with the fire marshals and all those people, and they just really how does ate that, it up. How does that work? They, they, they ate it up? They ate it up, yeah. Oh, they okay. loved, they loved, they, 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 they had never had an opportunity to look at this in a different way, mm -hmm. to look at leadership in a different way. That's very unique. It's very unique, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. So I give them the assessment. And then show them the 16 ways that we look at the scores. Because mm -hmm. people look at, what's my score? Yeah. And they see one. But yeah. when we have one of our, my coaches, I also coach, train people to be coaches in my system. Mm -hmm. And there's 16 different ways we see scores. Mm -hmm. So it really helps them see their strengths, weaknesses, and it helps them look at their team members mm -hmm. in a similar way. Mm -hmm. And I'm beginning to move into the healthcare industry. I spoke right. with the American College of Healthcare mm -hmm. uh, Administrators recently. Mm -hmm. right. And I have three nurses that I've certified to deliver my process. Mm -hmm. And so I'm writing a book about Authentic leadership uh, in the healthcare, a handbook for authentic leaders. That's good. Right. So we're looking to help more the healthcare industry understand more about leadership mm -hmm. and the differences and the changes, and especially with the automation now yeah. being so relevant. Right. And they're saying that in the future, oftentimes doctor, doctors won't even see patients. Right. Mm -hmm. It'll be done mostly on an online basis. Exactly. So changing the mindset yeah. to enable that to happen mm -hmm. is really critical. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm more, I'm more working with industries and looking at ways to make change. I'm expanding now, now that I have the personal development, the speaker development, and the child development on, as online training programs. Mm -hmm. Now I'm moving more for an authentic beauty aspect mm -hmm. and how to really retain um, ageless beauty mm -hmm. for a long time. Mm -hmm. And secondly, authentic marketing. I've just got certified in a program that helps me help businesses look at um, how they can add $10,000 to the bottom line. Mm -hmm. I can do a 45-minute interview That's good. and oh, wow. show them how. And that this I good. did that because I had to learn marketing. Mm -hmm. Okay. when I went into business, mm -hmm. I mean, I came from a non yeah. I directed his <laughs> oh, yeah. well, if, 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 if you're a nonprofit, you know marketing is your number one thing because you well, got to go out. And it try wasn't to get when funding. it started. It wasn't because oh, it, wasn't. it was no because <laughs> you got we got clients. grants. We yeah. had grants yeah. every year. Oh, yeah. You just okay. we wrote the grant oh. and you got it. As long as the grant was written under the guidelines, you got your money. Oh. Right. Oh. And you didn't need to market because the kids knew oh. what it was. And we were a delegate agency with a grantee that helped to bring the children mm. in. Well, and see, so, when when you're in certain nonprofits, that you got to go out and get the grants and market. And, you know, that comes, it's a different angle. Yeah. No, yeah. I didn't even have that. So I went, you know, I mean, I'm very spirit directed and spirit said, well, go do this. OK, sure. But, you know, <laughs> like you can get your training first. You know, that might, that might make a little sense. Yeah. That might yeah. help. <laughs> well, I like your program because you. I have a program similar to that. It's mm -hmm. not the same. Doesn't have the nine dimensions and all mm -hmm. of that. My program is called KYP, Knowing Your Personnel. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. what we do is we 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 put people in four categories. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do the assessment, and it's amazing when people find out which one of those four they fall in. Right. And it helps in the, in the workplace. It helps on contracts. Mm -hmm. It helps in the organization. Right. So right. It, it's an amazing yeah. thing. So w right. after this, I'd love to sit with you, right. show you my KYP, how right. it works. Right. I teach it for Edison. And uh, when we do that, uh, that takes about 45 minutes to an hour. Mm -hmm. And people walk out of there all excited. Ooh, yeah, ooh, they do. I'm going to implement this uh, <laughs> by job now, you know. Well, personal development, people love personal development. Oh, they yes. just love it, right? Oh, yes. Yes. And there's a lot of programs that have the four. There's the colors that has the four colors. Yeah. And there's another one we call team that has. I'd like to see the, yes. the relationship between them. Yes. Because in reality, they say as humans, there's only so many parts of us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So th and the more ways we can understand ourselves, yeah. the deeper we can, we, can, yeah. we, can, exactly. we can know who we are. That's I've done great. the color one. You've done the color one, I've right? done the color one. Yeah. And, and it was so accurate there's another yeah. program out there called bankers somebody another i know the bankers one, the, yes. yeah and yeah. i did that i'm like whoa yeah, but yeah. the program itself when you're sitting down with clients mm -hmm. it can really help you do the sell mm -hmm. and, and, and close the deal yeah, right. when you know who you're dealing with yes. and whether or not right. you're going to read. So, you know, uh, both all of us actually yeah. would right. benefit from that. Yeah, right. Just knowing who your who your clients are and who to spend all your time right. working on and who to walk away from. Right. Who to walk away from. Sorry. It's, it's, it's good to be able to say no. As a client, <laughs> as one of my colleagues says, you got to know when to say no. <laughs>
<laughs> you know, I used to never know when to say no. Oh, no. And then lately I've been, you know, I, I told you, right? Yeah. <laughs> lately I've been figuring out, you know what? You got to say no. You got to say no. Because I take on all these projects and it's like, oh, then they start killing me. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Just say no. Yeah. Got to yeah. say no. I'm going to introduce you guys. Uh, last year, I participated as a coach, um, as a speaker and coach uh, for a new organization that's starting called the Bella Network. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, um, a young lady who started, her name is Alicia um, White Matson, and she did. She works in corporate America, but she realizes that we as women sometimes our voices don't get to be heard, and that we needed to create a tribe of women that are there for each other to up, to, to rise each other up. So we did a three day retreat conference, and she she just did this amazing job. She brought in twenty coaches. To uh, on a panel, and it was a three day retreat. We were down in Long Beach, and none of us knew each other. She knew some of us, some of us she, we were referred to. But when we came together, you would have thought we had known each other forever. Mm. And all 20 of us had, we we're all coaches, but in different areas. Yeah. And it That's was good. phenomenal. Yeah. And we've developed some relationships out of that. One of the two of the ladies last uh, week were on the show. And uh, one's a life coach and one's an executive coach. And um, so we're focusing on those women that are coming, starting their second act, mm-hmm. you know, coming out of corporate America, they're yeah. sea level. And now they're coming. And it's a different world. Entrepreneurship yeah. is a different world yeah, than, than the corporation when you have all everything at your fingertip. And so our next conference is in October. But I definitely will introduce you guys. to. So, it. you know, um, I love Synergy. Uh-huh. Now how the universe works. Uh-huh. Alicia and I emailed each other today. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you did that little yeah, because Alicia, is she amazing? Uh, she, I met her last Saturday. I was at the Sleep to Black Women, you know, okay. MC that program. Uh-huh. And I think she's on my email list. And okay. She came to me, and I just today I just emailed her and said, I saw the website, I saw your picture and other people I knew, and I said, oh, yeah, I do definitely need to know her. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. so we have to let, yeah, yeah. introduce Absolutely. you as well. Absolutely. I mean, because it was an awesome experience. Yeah, it looks like, yeah. Yeah, and we were, we were in a little boat hotel down in Long Beach and 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 just the energy mm-hmm. all women well, there's a few men that were there but all energy and just the support and she is just so passionate about this yeah. and we were just like marveling at how do you bring 20 coaches together and nobody overlaps yeah right, that's, that's good that's and, great and the egos didn't get in the and way no egos none <laughs> of that and she, that's kind of tough and <laughs> she yeah. told us what we were speaking on yeah. we didn't even come with what we usually speak oh, on Wow. She just asked for me, you know, she was, I was referred to her because of my networking and, and I, that's a, that's one of the, uh, the subjects and topics that I'm, I speak on. So mine was about networking and then somewhere in between there, like it switched. Yeah. And so then she had me do a couple other things, but I had the skill sets to yeah, do it yeah. right. and it just that's flowed yeah, yeah. and everybody was like that's that. Great. It that's was good really planning. amazing. Yeah. That's yeah. good planning that's right there. Yeah. Right. So yeah. So yeah, you <laughs> will, you will truly enjoy it. And so will you, uh, cause that it's cause, but then, so her goal is, is to create this, um, coaching network. Um, and then we go out and we hit the areas of our expertise but then build under one banner, so to yeah, speak. That'd be great. Yeah, like that. yeah. I like that. That. yeah. yeah and good. and then utilizing her, you know, her corporate because she's she's over at Northrop, up, and she's like, yeah. actually, she's a chemist. I have met some of the most oh, profound wow. women. It was one lady that's a chemist, and she had ten patents. I mean, she had four patents. Really? She had worked with four. Mattel. Four patents. Oh, she had wow. worked with Mattel. A lot of them had been in the C-suite uh, executive positions. The only black woman. There was a young woman who was 30 something years old, was one of the speakers. She actually is the uh, one of the VPs for Uber. But she had lived in Dubai and worked in Dubai mm-hmm. with her and her husband. I mean, just phenomenal wow, women that we met that were just awesome. Uh, her cousin is, uh, she's a director or a VP over at HP. So we were just the technology. Her sister travels all over the world doing the legal a- legal aspects of security of the Internet. So just amazing That's women. wonderful, yeah. For yeah. those of you who are listening to our show, this is a business zone and you're on with Crystal and Gilbert and we've got 
got two wonderful guests in the studio. We've got Norma T. Hollis, and we've got Cor- Dr. Corzette White. And oh. this is a phenomenal show. You guys are missing out. You got to call us so we can share with you. And those are on <laughs> Facebook Live, Marjorie and Alexander and Lloyd and Stacy Mc- Stacy and Russell. Um, you guys can have, have caught the show at um, morrismedialive.com, but I will, we will be uploading the show and you can see all of these beautiful faces, Definitely. all of our beautiful faces. This is just phenomenal what we're learning here today. Yeah, so I'm so, I mean, Norma has always been, every time I've gone to, and she's actually spoken at several several workshops with RBD. And, and speaking just, next, next two weeks. Yeah, in yeah, two yeah, weeks. So, so the great. Recycling Black Dollars Breakfast Mixer, she's going to be one of the speakers there. And where do we find you guys' books? So you yes. have a book here and two books, you, yes. two books here <laughs> and you have a book over there. So, where so do we tell us a little about those books and where we can find them. Well, the first book I wrote is uh, The Process to Become a Professional Speaker. So I'm up by buying that one. Okay, because this one is... Um, <laughs> This one was uh, written when I had my speakers bureau, mm-hmm. and it's a how-to guide for new and emerging speakers mm-hmm. to how to be a professional speaker. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's a fill-in-the-blank type book, and mm-hmm. it takes you from beginning to end to the whole process to become a professional mm-hmm. speaker. And then this one is 10 Steps to Authenticity. Mm-hmm. This one was written after my 30 years or of research. It's a summary of my research and okay. a summary of those nine dimensions of authenticity, mm-hmm. okay. and it includes the assessment in it. Was that oh, a part? Wow. What is that a part of your thesis? Um, yeah, I didn't do a thesis so oh. much, but my it was a thesis because oh. of what I wrote, and I, I'm, st- I'm still writing on it and still <laughs> learning about it. Yes. Very good. But uh, both books can be found on normaspeaks.com mm-hmm. mm-hmm. as well as some of my other products. Good. Actually, there's nine workbooks with this, one for each of the dimensions that, that are filling. I do a lot of fill in the blank types mm, because I okay. believe in being reflective mm-hmm. and learning right. more. Good. So if you feel that intuition is where you need more, where you're vulnerable, mm-hmm. there's a workbook on that. Mm-hmm. If you feel that net wealth is where you're vulnerable, there's a workbook on that. Yeah. So all of that can be found on normaspeaks.com. Well, and, and you find, this, go ahead, Crystal. And you find out where what you need to tweak by taking the assessment test, yes. right? Yes, uh-huh. yeah. and whatever your lowest score is is where you want to focus some attention. That's probably also the source of some of your stress. I use the same assessment to do a workshop called The Gift of Stress and How to Honor It mm-hmm. because generally whatever those nine dimensions you're lowest in is where you're having some challenge in life and where some stress exists. Okay. So if you look at that and begin to look at um, how to modify that, it's it's going to help. You know, this whole the whole assessment just I'm very humbled by it mm-hmm. because it's not I didn't set up to say, well, I'm going to talk about authenticity. You know, it kind of <laughs> <laughs> It, it, it came through came me. It came through yeah. me. Yeah. Okay. And then it took me another eight years or so to understand what I had and how to use it. Mm-hmm. So it's really a phenomenal tool that was very spiritually inspired. And once you understand it, when I start doing my workshops again, I'll let you know and you mm-hmm. can let people know. Mm-hmm. And once people come and they take it and begin to understand, you you have a, a personal coaching tools mm-hmm. just by the grid that, that goes mm-hmm. with that goes with this. Right. So that first book you wrote, because you spoke with... Yes, the with, speaking book. Uh-huh. No, not that one. You, your first book on authenticity. Was this one? Was that yes, one? Okay. Right. This is the first. It's a summary of the whole program. Oh, okay. And then the other workbooks are are workbooks strictly to help you fill in the blanks for the areas where you may be uh, be short. Okay, because mm-hmm. you've been working on this for a long a, a, a long, long time. time. Everything now is online. Okay. So everything, if they take the assessment at berealtest.com, uh-huh. then they will get um, an email that will direct them in one of the three areas, whether it's children or personal development or speaking. Mm. And then there's a series of uh, videos that they will get, which will be training. And then they'll also be notified of where they can go for more. If they, I have an online training program for speakers, mm-hmm. an online training pro- program for Be More Authentic, mm-hmm. and a training program also for parents. That's great. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. It's taking years to put together. So yeah. I'm yeah. glad to have put it to bed now. And so <laughs> now it's about marketing, which is the, the writing of it is a whole different energy. Than the, than the marketing, of course. Yes. So that's okay. where I'm in now, the transition to the marketing. And I'm so glad to be, uh, I'm, I'm born on the cusp, okay? So mm-hmm. my first part <laughs> of my life was Capricorn. Right? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> now I'm in the Sagittarius. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, know, I know exactly <laughs> what you're saying because I'm Capricorn too. Yes. So I know exactly that what you're saying. That Saturn will keep you and keep you. Oh, yeah. And you keep working on it. See this system, Small Biz Pro? <laughs> Nine years it took yeah. me to develop this. Nine years. And you can't let it go. And I, I can't you let it go. Can't I'm, let still, it go I'm still working on until it. Until you are released. You see what I'm saying? I'm still working. on. So I know exactly yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. But we're coming close to the end of our show. So we're going to have her tell her where to get her so, book. Yes. Tell, tell really us Really quickly, Attracting the Best. It's all about um, 
positive affirmations, reprogramming your subconscious mind, affirming what it is that you want, wealth, prosperity, and abund abundance in your life now. The book is available. It's a bestseller on Amazon.com. Mm -hmm. You can also find the book at uh, my website, Attracting the Best. Mm. Attracting the Best. Wow, we've just such so, a wonderful synergy I here know. today. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about that. I mean, what does, uh, is, is there an assessment tool in there? There is an assessment tool. <laughs> There's 33 uh, days in here of affirmations. And for those of you who are out there, maybe you're wondering what is an affirmation. It is really affirming what you want, putting it out there into the universe so that it actually uh, manifests. There's... Uh, pages in here for you to actually write your financial intention, your money intention. What is it that you're grateful for? I also have some pages back here that um, will allow you to jot down a few other things. There's, mm. um, you know, your important people that you should have at your fingertips, mm. your attorney, your accountant, your things like that. Person, your insurance person. Your insurance. So there's a lot of different um, consultants. things that are going on <laughs> in this book. But um, I like to say... Um, Use it for journalizing. Use it as a devote, you know, when you are in meditation mode and mm -hmm. you, in the morning, the evening or devotion and um, write down what it is you're intentional about. And believe me, the law of attraction, I do believe in it and it, 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 it'll it happen. It does work. Right. So Just continuously repeat whatever it is, whatever you want to affirm. Put it out there in the universe. So, so entrepreneurs, you've got the uh, attracting the best over here and you've got the nine dimensions of authenticity. So... Put them together, <laughs> they will make you whole. <laughs> <laughs> and Cosette, we both are like, when you know, when people think of bookkeepers and accountants and tax people, they think of them very rigid people, very, very structured people. Yeah. We're like the anti accounting <laughs> <laughs> people. Right. <laughs> we, we, we operate in, in, in intuitiveness yeah. and awakeness oh, and awareness. Yeah. All of it. So oh, we're the yeah. new type of uh, accounting exactly. people. That's we're the great. touchy feeling guys in the right. new age. That's the good <laughs> but it's been so wonderful. Uh, Russell Taylor told me to tell you hi. Hey, Russell, how you doing? <laughs> uh, another one of our, we, you know, you're so funny. When I did my speech and when I was doing t uh, speaking at the Bella Network, one of the things I talked about was how connected we all are with various people. That's true. Yeah. So I utilized um, my LinkedIn and and since I knew who was in the room, I went through and connected all of the 20 of us that were speakers and how we were connected and who we were connected ah. to and how we all came together. In Six energy. degree of separation. separation yeah. That's and they're like, it. wow. And so one lady said, you know. And I told him that I know everybody on my LinkedIn. They, mm -hmm. These are people that I've had actually conversations with that I speak with on a regular basis. The same thing with my Facebook. These Correct. are just not arbitrary people that I just pulled out of the air. Right. I have before they're even included into my LinkedIn. I have to see where our mutual connections are. Mm -hmm. And then I have a certain uh, number in my head on who those those connections are and how many are there so that I know who's in my network and how I can utilize them to do what Got I do and so it was really profound they're like I didn't know you were supposed to know your people in your on your LinkedIn. Like, what uh, a concept! <laughs> what a concept! Right? <laughs> That's the whole idea. <laughs> well, I congratulate LinkedIn. you for that because you get so many requests and yes. all to take the time to do that. That's that's yes. admirable. That's, yeah, that's I wise and, also. Yeah, it's <laughs> wise because I want to make sure that we're that I'm benefiting. So the stuff that I'm uploading, the materials Correct. that is you being beneficial mm -hmm. for those people within my peer structure. That's a good idea, and that I can reach oh, yeah. out to. Um, I told you she's very resourceful. Right. <laughs> why, why do you think uh, we work so well together? She well, my phenomenal. thing is that anything you need should be at your fingertips. That's right? right. And right. it should be part of your network and That's part of the right. people you know. So you don't have to go out and find strangers yeah. to help promote you. These are people that you should have some relationship with. That's exactly. true. Exactly. Yeah, to help exactly. that word of mouth stuff. That's right. important. Right. <laughs> so, Miss Norma T. Hollis, um, I've given you my card. Yes. I'd like you to send me an email and I'll send you uh, the instructions as how to log into Small Biz Pro right and so. make it work for you. I'm going to give you a lifetime membership. Whoa, I thank you for very free. Much. That's what a blessing. Thank because you. once you've used it and you see how well it works for you, mm -hmm. I'm sure you're going to refer it to all these other people. Got it. That's the idea. Okay. Got it. Okay. And got it. Dr. Cosette White, the same thing for you. 
We're going to send you the instructions, and I really, really want you to use it and then refer it to your clients. Got it. It's going to make your life so much easier. Got it. <laughs> okay. And it's been such a pleasure for both, and we're going to talk because I have an aspiration. I want to be on the speaking bureau, on the speaking okay, platform okay. with uh, George Frazier. That's where I want to start. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we we'll we'll need to do, need to do yes, that, sure. yes. and you and I need to. We're going to do some stuff together because yes. we could definitely some synergy exactly. with with exactly. us. Um, That's great, and all of us. And it's just been such a pleasure. And uh, I'm going to send you guys links to the the show. Okay. You can utilize yeah. it however you need. I'll yeah. send you okay. a clip it up, and then I'll send you the whole one. Okay. Uh, all we ask you to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel right. so you can. Stay connected with us. And right. ask, ask your subscribers to subscribe also. All right. And so we can build our, our network and our population. And that's that's great. That's all Happy we need. Sounds yeah, good. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we can do that. So, Crystal, we got about two minutes. Uh, yeah, let me see any anything going on. Recycling Black Dollar Breakfast Mixer on the 11th at Denny's on Crenshaw between a. Uh, 8 and 10 in the morning. We have Miss Norma Hollis is going to be one of our guests. And Mr. Joe Razan, who is the new executive director over at Vermont Slice. When, when are we bringing him in on the show? Uh, Joe, actually, I'm trying to get in the show. Oh, you won't be here. I'm trying to get him next week, but I think he's no, in D.C. No, get him when I'm here. <laughs> okay, so I'll, I'll move him down. He's in, yes. D he's in D.C. trying to, uh, with Maxine Waters, trying yeah, to him, make some get stuff him when happen. I'm here. So. so I'll make sure, but he's going to be on the, he's gonna be on the show. Okay, definitely, definitely. And so you've got Recycling Black Dollars Breakfast. Now, I know that Edison is starting their EDGE program again. Are you in on that? Yeah, we will be having a class, uh, networking actually. We're uh, we're securing a date probably be mid, mid toward the end of April. Okay. And we'll have a location and so forth in, in place. So uh, I will let everybody know that. It's important that you guys learn how to network because networking okay. is the key. Relationships yeah, are the good. key to growing your businesses. Okay, so... I'll be teaching two Edison Edge program classes. One will be April 25th. That's going to be building your operational capacity. Okay. I'll teach them how to build infrastructure, go over best practice compliance and all of that, risk management. Ooh. All of those things we'll be covering, which is really excellent. They love it. So we're going to do that on April 25th, and we're also going to do it again August 1st. Okay. And next week, as you know, I'm going to be in Vegas next week teaching the Nevada Contractors Association. Um, how we're, we're, Next week, we're going to do certifications. So we're going to go over certifications with them in Vegas. Uh, their certification is similar, but a little different. So we're going to go over that with them. And, uh, of course, uh, we've got the National Latina Business Women uh Business Women Association workshop coming up for the L.A. chapter, and that's going to be next week, Wednesday, and every Wednesday until May 10th. So that's what we've got in store. I'm very excited about this, and we've got uh, Mount Sac coming up, right? We have Mount Sac coming up. It's a little challenging. we got some stuff to talk about on it, but yes, we have Mount Sac starting <laughs> on May 8th, and uh, looking forward to that, and there's some other stuff that's over the summertime that's okay. going to be fantastic. Excellent. So we are at the top of our hour, and we want to thank everyone. We want to thank our guests for being here and yes. sharing, and we want to thank you guys for tuning in, yes. and you can, if you didn't get to see the show, you can, uh, we will have the the show uploaded to our YouTube channel so check it out make sure that you subscribe to us so you know every Friday evening when we have our show and you can stay on top of all these wonderful guests that we have we uh, just ask you go out and be successful be bold and be uh, expansive about your business and be open and remember you gotta stay ready in order to be ready if you need the information from, from our show, make sure you go to um, YouTube and type The Business Zone. Business uh, business and zone, that's one word, business zone. And you can obtain the video and uh, you can use it. You can market it, uh, send it, share it with as many people as you want. But this is The Business Zone with Crystal and Gilbert. And we're out. See you next week. Hello, meet Larry. Larry is a general contractor. Larry is very good at his craft, but Larry has a very tough time managing his paperwork because he is busy taking care of his clients' needs. Larry just cannot find his important business documents when needed. Larry is also being passed over for bid opportunities from prime contractors because he is perceived as not ready. 
He doesn't know where his business license, certifications, insurance, and other key corporate documents are located most of the time. Lucy owns an auto body and collision repair shop and has been using a business management and procurement assistance program called Small Biz Pro to keep her business organized, business ready, contract ready, and bank loan ready. Small Biz Pro is a three-in-one cloud-based business management, procurement, and market research assistance system designed to help businesses become business ready, contract ready, and bank loan ready. It also provides back office operation solutions for small businesses. Lucy is able to stay ahead of her competitors because she uses Small Biz Pro to manage her business daily. Lucy just clicks on Small Biz Pro from her tablet, mobile phone, laptop, or any internet accessible device for data retrieval, and she's got it. Lucy introduces Larry to Small Biz Pro, and now Larry is more organized and can now find all of his documents and new bid opportunities in seconds. Larry now saves $120 in labor costs for each missing or misplaced document. Just simply go to your web browser and log in to smallbizpro.net and register today for a limited 30-day free trial offer. Services start as low as $1 per day. Let's put the competition out of business. Small Biz Pro. If you stay ready, you don't need to get ready. Register now at smallbizpro.net and begin saving money. Email info at smallbizpro.net or call 626-533-1186.